Hi, I'm Dennis Flanagan. I'm a clinical dentist practicing in Eastern Connecticut, USA. The title of this article is The Effectiveness of Articane in Mandibular Facial Infiltrations. Articane is sold as a 4% local anesthetic for dental procedures. Using articane infiltrations in the mandible to anesthetize the inferior alveolar nerve for dental procedures has been effective. Clinical experience and research has shown this to be variably successful. One study recommended using 3.4 cc's or a double dose when adequate anesthesia is not attained. So the question arises, can this variability be due to osseous anatomical features of the patient? This present study measured osseous features on cone bean computerized tomograms of patients of record in a general dental practice. All cone beans were done as part of a diagnostic workup for various routine dental procedures on 20 teeth. All of the patients had articane mandibular facial infiltrations for the procedures that included extraction, restoration, or implant placement. All of the cone beam computerized tomograms were made as part of a routine diagnostic workup. Before infiltration delivery of the articane, each tooth was electrically pulp tested for vitality and found to be vital. After infiltration, the subject teeth were again pulp tested at 2, 5, and 10 minutes to test for successful anesthesia for the impending procedure. All teeth were sensate at 2 minutes. At 5 minutes, 14 were sensate, and 6 were insensate. At 10 minutes, only one tooth, a true-rooted mandibular molar, remained sensate. The bone density of the cortical and trabecular bone was measured on the CBCT in Hounsfield units. The distance of the teeth epices to the facial aspect of the mandible were measured on the cone beam. The thicknesses of the facial cortices of the teeth were also measured. Bone density, or the distance of the teeth apex, to the facial aspect of the mandible did not affect the onset of anesthesia. However, the thickness of the facial cortex did. When the cortical thickness was greater than about 2 millimeters, the sensation persisted. So it may be that when cortical bone is thicker than about 2 millimeters, as measured on cone beam, then an additional dose of articane may be required to attain adequate anesthesia, or an inferior alveolar nerve block should be administered. Now, this study was very small. A thorough evaluation of these parameters is needed for appropriate clinical usage. If you need any further uh, information, you can contact me by email, as uh, seen in the article, or at dffdds at comcast.net.